So finally I'm here to talk about my weight loss journey. I guess on my channel and on social media everyone was eagerly waiting for it. I'm going to keep it very very simple. It will be a weight loss journey chat. everyone hope you all are doing well and thank you for watching lifestyle with preeti suri if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and channel needs your help and support so please subscribe to the channel and if possible share it with your family and friends too my weight loss journey started after pregnancy i've always been skinny or i would say i maintained healthy weight in relation to my height before pregnancy I was size 8 and after having a baby uh, my size was 18 and then I went down to size 16 after a couple of months. I just quickly want to say before we get into the video I am not a nutritionist or a personal trainer. I am not qualified anything like that. However, I live an active lifestyle. So please keep this thing in mind if something works for me it may not necessarily works for you. I am just sharing my personal experiences. When you're pregnant, you know that your life is going to change, and I use that as an alibi. That now I'm pregnant, I have to eat everything for my baby. During my pregnancy, I used to have cravings every time I used to feel hungry. I used to eat parathas, um, Indian curries. I used to have homemade sweets. Uh, I remember my mom used to send me. I used to eat a lot of bread also. Um, I used to cook and eat. Normally women gain uh, one or two kg every week uh, in first three months of their pregnancy, but I was gaining four kg every week in first three months of my pregnancy. During my pregnancy, my appetite increased, and I remember most of the time I used to feel hungry. So I simply listened to my body and ate a lot during all the trimesters. So my body weight was 92 kg just before the delivery and after having a baby I lost around 14 kg a lot of that because of the baby and the fluids I remember I used to think that uh, eat now and I will lose weight once baby will be out I did not emphasize on my body weight after baby because I was 78 kg and size 16 so I thought it's very difficult to lose weight so just forget about it Um, and on the other hand, I was too busy with the baby. Everything was so new to me. Uh, being a new mom, it was it was a bit challenging for me to manage everything. My family was back home, and my husband used to travel due to his work. I thought it's not easy to lose weight now, um, and it will be too difficult for me to get back to being healthy and size eight again. However, my husband encouraged me a lot, uh, but I used to think in my head that. Uh, No it's not possible I cannot lose weight um so just just let's forget about it I remembered uh, someone came to our house for a lunch and uh, passed a comment that um, I'm looking too cute after baby and my face looks like a moon emoji I felt really bad but I'm very thankful to that person because that's when the bubble burst and I decided to take care of myself I will work out I will lose weight um and that's when my weight loss journey started so i discussed with my friends i discussed with my husband um one of my friend introduced me to intermittent fasting uh, my husband has showed me various apps uh, which can help me to track my calories intake um so after abhi's first birthday i started my weight loss journey and the main things contributed in my weight loss journey are intermittent fasting an app called my fitness plan intermittent fasting uh, which is an eating pattern that involves regular short term fasts fasting for shorter period of time help me to eat fewer calories i would say uh, i was on a diet or i was following a diet plan i would say i made some changes in my lifestyle to become healthier there are various different intermittent fasting methods i started with spontaneous skipping meal and gradually reached to 168 method Spontaneous meal skipping means skip meals from time to time. However, I skipped breakfast completely out of my daily meal routine. 16-8 method involves eating only during an 8-hour window and fasting for the remaining 16 hours. 
my friends my family they all supported me and encouraged me i improved on my stamina and endurance and just within 2 months of my weight loss journey i started following 168 method on a very initial stage of intermittent fasting i cut down on sugar i stopped eating any junk food any deep fried food um so i suggest eat lot of high fiber food uh, like nuts beans sprouts during your eating window and drink lots of water throughout the day so i embraced the changes i brought in my lifestyle and started seeing the results so i lost 24 kg within just 10 months i think i won't be able to lose weight through intermittent fasting if i won't have downloaded my fitness pal app this app is great for tracking the calories and you have to be on calorie deficit diet to lose weight but at the same time i would like to say don't be harsh on yourself or super restrict yourself uh, yes you have to eat healthy food if you want to lose weight but if you feel like to eat chocolate one day please go for it and try to fit it into your calorie allowance because at times it's super important to give your body what it wants nowadays i don't follow intermittent fasting on regular basis however my fitness pal app i use every day whether i'm doing intermittent fasting or i'm not as it track my calories intake throughout the day and helps me to maintain my body weight too it is very important that time to time bring changes in your lifestyle apart from following intermittent fasting and using this app i do exercise as well it is very important to do some kind of exercise if you want to lose weight when it comes to exercise i follow cassie ho that she is very famous youtube fitness star and she is on instagram too So I have some tips for you to start intermittent fasting. I hope these tips will help you to start your weight loss journey. Have a goal in mind. I was 78 kg when I started my weight loss journey. So I lost 24 kg to get back to a size 8. Pick the method. I started with spontaneous meal skipping and gradually reached to 16-8 method. Figure out your calorie needs. 1200 calories in a day enough for me so i made sure during my weight loss journey that on daily basis i do not take more calories than i need figure out the meal plan initially i skipped breakfast completely out of my daily meal plan and was eating just healthy lunch and dinner when i switched to 168 method i started having just one large meal in a day Use a tool to count your calories. I have downloaded My Fitness Pal app which helps me to track my calories intake throughout the day. I hope through this vlog I can help you all to start your weight loss journey. I know it's not going to be easy, but it is not difficult also. You just have to be disciplined, consistent in your approach and work towards your goals. In my next vlog, I will talk about what I eat in a day. I will share some quick and easy recipes to break your intermittent fasting and what are the things you should look out for when going for grocery shopping. I hope you enjoy the video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do. Thank you and I will see you in my next vlog. Till then bye everyone and take care of yourself.